like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is histogram and augur plot. So basically we are given a table and we have to use that table and we have to plot those graph. So let's see how we can plot that. When we talk about histogram, in x axis we have interval but in y axis we have frequency. And now when we talk about augur graph, in x axis we have interval but in y axis we have relative cumulative frequency. So histogram is very simple because frequency is already given in the question and interval is also given. But when we talk about augur graph, we have to find relative cumulative frequency. So let's see by an example. So let's see an example. So example is we have interval, we have frequency. So between 0 to 10, we have 1. Between 10 to 20 interval, we have frequency 2 and so on. So histogram graph says y axis is frequency, x axis is interval. So we have wrote the uh, respective numbers. So 0, 10, 20, 30. Similarly 1, 2 and 3. So let's see how we can plot that. So between 0 to 10 we have 1. So 0 to 10 we have 1. And from 10 to 20 we have 2. So 10 to 20 we have 2. From 20 to 30 we have 3. So 3. Now draw a vertical line. So this is the histogram graph. So the first point is you have to write table. Second you have to write the coordinates like 0, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3. So table we have to draw the points. What are the points? 0, 10, 20. Third follow the steps like from 0 to 10 it is 1. 10 to 20 it is 2. 20 to 30 it is 3 and draw the vertical lines to complete the plot. Now we have to draw the OQ graph. So basically we have interval, we have frequency and using this information we have to find cumulative relative frequency. So let's see how we can find that. So basically first we have to do is the summation of this frequency. So 3 plus 2 plus 1 the summation says 6. Now we have to find the relative frequency. Relative frequency is very simple. It is frequency by summation of frequency. Alright. All so. 1 by 6, 2 by 6, 3 by 6. Simple. Now we have to find cumulative relative frequency. Now note, cumulative relative frequency says, write the relative frequency and add all previous relative frequency. So 1 by 6 and there is no relative frequency here. There is no previous relative frequency. But when we talk about this between interval 20 to, uh, 10 to 20, we can write 2 by 6 the respective relative frequency plus the previous relative frequency that is 1 by 6. So answer is 1 by 2. Now when we talk about interval 20 to 30, write the interval that is uh, sorry write the relative frequency that is 3 by 6 plus add all the previous relative frequency that is 2 by 6 plus 1 by 6. So the answer is 1. Whenever you get the final answer as 1, this means that you are adding the free, uh, relative frequency right. Because at the end, the answer for the last interval of cumulative relative frequency should be 1. Now we have table. Now we have to plot. So at x axis we have interval 0, 10, 20, 30. Note, we have to plot at the middle of this interval. Okay. First point. Now at y axis we have cumulative relative frequency. So the coordinates uh, or let's say the points we can write as so the points we can write as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 up to 1 because the highest is 1. Okay. So between 0 to 10, we are choosing the middle point and we are matching it with the cumulative relative frequency. So at this point, 0 0.1 uh, because 1 by 6 is 0 0.16666. Okay. So this is the point. Second point we have to write here. So between 10 to 20, we have to choose the middle point. Now the respective cumulative uh, relative frequency is 0 0.5. So here is the 0 0.5. Now between 20 to 30, choose the middle point. Now the respective cumulative relative frequency is 1. Just join these points. So this is augur graph. So what we have done is first, 
use the table and find relative frequency and then go for cumulative relative frequency second choose the middle point middle point of the interval 0 to 10 choose the middle point and plot the relative uh, cumulative relative frequency of respective interval and then just join a straight line you cannot draw a curve you have to draw a straight line that's it तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट